What's going on? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to export your photos library in here, your entire library to an external disk so you can actually create a backup and ensure that all your library is actually exported in high quality to an external disk drive or pen drive. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So first things first, before we even get started, I'd like to let you guys know that I'll be showing you how to export the photos library in here, which is exactly every single photo located here within photos app down here. Okay. So regardless of whether the photo is a screenshot or a proper photo or even a video that will be exported from here into your external disk or pen drive. So the very first thing we need to do in here is obviously we need to connect a pen drive into our computer. Let me quickly connect my USB pen drive in my case I've got in here a SanDisk pen drive with over 128 gigabytes of storage. Here we go I've just connected my pen drive and it shows here as SanDisk. Right, let me double tap to open it. Here we go. This is my pen drive right here. Now, the next thing in here we're gonna be doing is simply hop into the photos library in here and you wanna make sure you select every single photo that we've got in here. But if you select it manually, this is gonna take you a lot of time. So simply tap here on edit at the top left corner and then tap on select all. This will select every single media file that you've got in here within photos app. As you can see, we've gotten here 1,529 items selected and we want to make sure we back this up into our external disk with high quality, right? So next up, what we need to do is simply tap here on edit and then we want to go all the way to file and then we want to tap on export right and then we've got in here the first option which says export 1529 items okay simply tap on it and then it's going to ask you whether you want to select the kind of photo kind of photo is nothing but the format that you want to export the specific photo right we've got jpeg heic which is a common apple format tiff and png if you want a higher quality you can go with png or hike which actually preserves a lot of metadata and information of the specific picture but in my case I'll be going with JPEG right here. Next up we've got the movie quality like in which quality you want to export the videos. If you've got a video what's the quality that you want to export it. If you have videos in 4k for example you want to make sure you go all the way to 4k to include the good quality of those videos. Now if you know that you do not record in 4k you can go with 1080p in here and this should preserve the quality of of your videos as well. I wouldn't recommend in 2025 to go below 1080p like 720p uh, would reduce your quality considerably. So go with 1080p. Next up we've got the info here that is actually the metadata such as the location where the picture or video was recorded or captured and then we've got the title keywords and caption as well. If you want to preserve this information you can tick these two uh, check boxes in here but the more check boxes you check or the more things you preserve the more space it's gonna occupy right next up we've got in here file naming which is basically keeping the specific name of that file or we can go with uh, use title sequential album name with number and we've got the sub folder format which is something that you can leave as known next up simply tap on export and it's gonna ask you the destination file where do you want to save these files right you could actually save it for example in your desktop and then you could for example upload it straight to the cloud like Google Drive or anything like that if you want to back it up to the cloud but in my case we want to export it to the external disk which is right here my send disk that I have just connected into my MacBook device. Next up, after selecting my SanDisk, tap on export and all these media files are going to be exported as a copy into my external SanDisk pen drive. Now, you can actually track the progress by tapping here. You can see the progress of the exporting process here. We've got 0% right now. The process has just initiated and depending on the size of your files, this might take some time. It can take minutes all the way 
way to an R if your files are way too big. And here we go, it's now at 1%. As you can see, all we need to do is just sit back, relax, and let our computer do its thing until this is completed. So in my case, for the sake of this video, I believe this should take an hour because I have really, really long videos that I record in high quality to the YouTube channel. So this is how you export once this is done. This will be complete and you'll be able to get the confirmation that this has been complete. I'll just quickly cancel this and I'll show you how it goes. For example, if I just want to back up these four pictures, I won't select all of them. So simply tap on file. Let's go with export export six photos jpeg i'll keep it in png i'll preserve all this data let me tap on export and then over here here i am on sundisk as you can see a few images were already being exported right so i'll just create a new folder in here which is known as entitled within my sundisk and then i'll tap on export and here we go, we've got the progress bar in here, 16%. It's going much faster as these are really small picture size. Here we go, the photos have now been exported, everything is complete. Okay, it doesn't give us a complete notification or done a final notification saying that, hey, everything's done. But this is the simple process of how to export it and create an external library on your external disk. Now, make sure you do not disconnect the USB cable or the pen drive or the disk throughout the process of exporting these files into your external disk because if you do this may corrupt your files and you might be facing an issue while trying to open up the files on your external pen drive so make sure you export it and let the computer do its thing while you're just sitting back relaxing and waiting until the computer gets completed make sure you also connect your charger, if you're running out of charge, connect your charge as soon as possible to ensure that the process of backing up the photos doesn't get interrupted because if it does, you'll be corrupting your files. Now, please note that in some specific cases, regardless of the format that you wish to export the photos from your library into your pen drive, for example, I've just exported this ones, they will always stick to the .heic format. This is because .heif format is the format that is used as base by the iPhone devices, by Apple themselves. So in my case, for example, I've exported these pictures and I do have them in HEIF image format, regardless of whether I chose HEIF or not. So in such case, for example, if you've exported it and you have it in .heic format and you simply want to convert it into JPEG or PNG, I'm going to show you another way of actually converting it to JPEG externally, okay, without actually selecting that specific option while exporting the photos so the process is quite simple let me quickly open up this picture for example it's in HEIC we're gonna be opening up here with preview right so once we're here what I need to do is pretty simple I just need to tap here on file next up I'm gonna tap on export okay and then I'll be able now to select the format once again. Now, please understand that this is something that is happening within preview itself and not in the photos library. Okay, so you can select as many pictures as you can. You can perform this. You're going to select the destination and then you're going to here toggle this quality control bar in here and then simply tap on save. This image will be exported as JPEG in here. As you can see, I already have this picture here in JPEG format right now. You can also select PNG and other formats according to which format you prefer to export your file to. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you have any query, do leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure I reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.